I support me. I believe in me and I want to achieve these goals for myself. When I rest me now, rest my relationship status on my home. Whole we have our hundred layers. If I show you one layer, that doesn't mean you know me. Rest in yourself, rest in your body, rest in your front. If you have for us, us a sister, I feel like a lot of people think vacation is very expensive and it's not. At the end of the day, me a God bless and what for stop me when God about me. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So from the title, you already know that we are going to be doing a cute little Q&A. Now, I do not want to get too emotional, nor do I want to divulge too much of my private life, but we haven't chit chatted in a bit. So if you want to keep watching this video, please keep on watching. Now, I realize that as of late, we haven't spoken a lot about perfume recommendations. I used to come on here a lot in many of the videos and let you guys know what is really up. So I'm back again to tell you guys about Dossier. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you would have known that I am a Dossier girly at heart. But of course, I ended up with all the fragrances on their website because I bought just about everyone. I mean, who doesn't want to own the fragrance that they want for less than half the cost? I got every single one. So I was away from Dossier for a while, but now I am back. Yes, with a re-up of one of my absolute favorite floral marshmallow. That is inspired by Killian Love Don't Be Shy. If you are not familiar with Dossier, it is one of the biggest perfume websites that sells the fragrance that you want less than half the cost. Now, of course, the fragrance that they sell is going to be inspired by the original. This is Floral Marshmallow. Like I said, it's inspired by Killian Love Don't Be Shy. And if you know anything, you know that this is the fragrance that Rihanna wears. Now, who doesn't want to smell like Rihanna? So this is the 100 ml size. And of course, in the box that says luxury, that makes sense. And from say luxury, a common name because that is exactly exactly what Dossier is, a luxury fragrance brand. Floral Marshmallow's notes are Marshmallow, Neroli Bergamot, Orange Blossom, Honeysuckle, Jasmine Oris, Amber, Vanilla, and Musk. Now, of course, the fragrance is pink. It's pretty. It literally smells like marshmallow. Perfect for my girly girls. It is 18% concentration. Let's go ahead and spray it here. Ooh! Oh! This just reminded me of how much I love this fragrance. I'm so happy to get it back. It is one of my favorite. Now, of course, on the Dossier website, you can find female, male, and unisex fragrances. So if pink and pretty is not your vibe, I'm sure you could find something else there. I will drop the Dossier link in my description box below. So if you want to get over there and get to buying your favorite fragrances at less than half the cost, I may just drop a discount code in the description box. So just go ahead and check it out and you can thank me later. Now, bye. Back to regular programming. Bye. Pass, pass, pass. Pass, pass, pass. Pass, 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 pass. pass. Then it ting to nine, you touch that happy seal. Pass, pass. Right guys, as I was saying, we haven't sat down in a little while to just kind of catch up. Now, I don't want to get too down and into like the, the nitty gritty of everything. You understand? We kind of want to keep it cute and keep it short, fun and to the point. So I asked on my Instagram page at Tananya for some questions that you guys would want to be featured in a Q&A. Now, of course, we went through and decided on which ones were most appropriate and you know which ones would be most helpful for you guys. So in no particular order, let us jump into it this one says why don't you do more day in the life vlogs all right now for one i don't normally like vlogging i feel like i get really forgetful in the middle of it and i can't remember what was the last thing i said to you guys i can't remember what was the last thing i showed you i just feel like it's all over the place N literally that's how my brain is so i prefer not to vlog i prefer these sit down videos where i already know my thoughts and i can just put them out but when i'm outside i run up and i'm gonna do certain stuff it just kind of threw me off that's one and two, my days are the same every day, literally. So the last vlog that I did, which I'll tag it here, get up, trade, get ready. Normally, if I don't have like a job or any reason to leave home, well, if I don't have a job, I'm gonna go to the gym, then come back home, go live 3.30. If I have no reason to leave home, say like I'm not in a mental space to see anybody, talk to anybody, so that means I'm not going to the gym. I just stay home and maybe edit some videos until 3.30. Literally, my life is boring. I'm 32 years old. I'm not outside doing anything. 
I'm not, you know, up and down. When I get my ear down, when I'm outside, I like boom fixing the road and them something there. But honestly, a little bit unboring, guys. Like, outside of Fridays, when you know me go my event, which is GNO Fridays, I do nothing else. There's probably like a week. My, you know, I might have a little maintenance. So I'm gonna do my hair, which I record for you guys. Put it on TikTok, put it on Instagram. Really and truly, but literally just get up. Boring. But just get up, pray, make my money, have some fun with my community, you know, chat online, whatever, go live. That's it. Go back to bed. Literally, guys. There is nothing much to show you in a day in the live vlog. That's why you guys don't really get them very often. If like one day might change, which happened the last time with like the Pizza Hut thing, and you know I'm a show, no. So if one day might change, I will try my best to vlog it so you guys can see. But on a regular day, I am a regular girl doing regular things, which is nothing really and truly. Who am eat? I'm like I say go live. Yeah, boring. One of the really boring girl him. Just a mind my business and I drink my water. That's really me for true. The next question says, what are ways you have been practicing self-care and maintaining your mental health? Whew. So practicing self-care for me has to do with simple things like brushing my teeth, drinking water as the first thing when I wake up, making sure I take my vitamins also after I drink water, praying first before I touch my phone, like as my eye open, I'm say thank you Jesus first before I stretch for the phone. You know what I'm going to wear there? Yeah. I try to ensure that I am cared for, you know, like every two weeks, three weeks, me try to book a nail appointment or something for my toes or I'll book something and get my lashes done because self-care to me is me maintaining like my outward appearance as much as I don't do a lot because if you guys realize I do prefer wearing my natural hair but again because my kind of I go to my events on Fridays I try to get my hair done so I at least try to keep up with the nails and the lashes you know every now and again I will book like a cute little massage for myself I ensure to pray every night also outside of the problem I'm gonna have when I wake up I'm just jump right into the phone every night I ensure to read my daily bread and I pray also because that's a form of self-care to me I feel the best within myself when I'm able to talk to God and when he's able to like answer me when I feel like he might guide me you know I'm actually feel like me I do the right thing like I'm not just out here so just a bounce up and down like I'm actually I go along the path that is for me that is one of the greatest forms of self-care for myself so I'm gonna try for intro so I'm gonna pray any little move I'm gonna make I'm gonna try for say God what you think before I do it if it is of your will let it be done you know them because stuff there I maintain my mental health may I tell you the truth not very well a lot of times I do find myself indulging in social media more than I would like to but in terms of like the negativity that comes at me I try my best not to read it that's one of the easiest things to me I just ignore it like it does not exist I try to still be true to myself and do what I know that I want to do like I'm an argument because somebody posts something about me or says something about me if me genuinely like it or me want to do it I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna just ignore the noise and do what I feel like I need to do you know there will be the days when I go alone and I'm a dark room I'm have to just cry it out because there are days when I'm not as strong as I would want to be I mean I'm human and I feel like it's natural I'm gonna feel like my back of the broad is like everybody else own I'm gonna have the broad back something there when you throw your little words them at me they do connect you understand so I kind of go in a little dark room I pray a lot because a lot of the time I feel like I'm there at my edge like I feel like I'm there at the edge I'm gonna really tip over so I have to really say God why me what really I go on right here so I beg for some help I'm really feel like I'm there at the edge I might watch my cartoons you know me that always makes me feel better within myself just watching my cartoons just chilling I take phone breaks a lot during those down times I did periods when I feel like me I go lose my mind the phone is not on ring it's not on vibrate it's not on nothing me no one see it me no one hear it me just in another room lay down with my thoughts and my tears and that is me to be honest the next question is how is your new home I feel like the circumstances that brought me to the new house they weren't ideal for me so as much as I feel like me two or three years ago would have been so excited about living here because it is literally a dream for me like it has all the things that I like all the things that I've always wanted and couldn't afford or you get me but I feel like the circumstances that led me here were not ideal says so almost like I can't appreciate it I am grateful you know I'm grateful for the space I'm grateful for the opportunity for even live somewhere like this but is like the joy when I feel like I should have me not have it me I work on it like I really I talk to God about it and me I try to figure out what is the reason but I feel like the whole robbery thing everything surrounding it the fact that I was trying to own the property I was in and then to feel like me I start over like the negativity for me of this whole situation kind of overshadow the positivity of the new place if you get me it's almost like this is not where I feel like I should be whilst me three years ago and me five years ago that I loved it the me now is almost like damn girl you really missed them out like I missed them out because as much as a place is beautiful and whatever it's not mine and I guess I felt like at this point 
point it should have been mine like a place should have been mine you know so me not reach that level there yet when we can say oh my god guys it's amazing and oh my god i'm so no i'm not there i'm grateful that i have somewhere to live i'm grateful that it's beautiful i'm grateful that me can afford it i'm grateful to say you know me I take my time on me and fix it but me just no dead so yet like i'm not like oh my god i'm in love you get me but i'm working on it i it's a work in progress and you know thank you for asking me that question because at least saying it out loud i know where i am and i know the things that i need to work on but overall it's a 10 out of 10 place i really wish i could show you guys it is 10 out of 10 it's just for me personally to recognize where i am and how far i've come and for understand say, this is my journey and this is where it's at and i just need to be positive about the whole thing basically the next question says are you planning to migrate anytime soon no sister naga um. i love 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 my country love jamaica as much as me not go outside much when i'm here overall the people itself are warm I like going to the supermarket i want to look up on somebody i'm you know them smile at me i'm a smile at them the warmth that we have like my like for dinner the streets and me hear somebody i talk or whatever i hear i know what they're talking about like all that they're saying is familiar to me my like say it feels like home when we go foreign the place feel cold in terms of not the temperature but like people don't smile at you as much they're not as kind as much me not feel like me and them are share nothing you get me like my daddy for my vacation i'm gonna go there for just enjoy it and come back to my yard me and them not have nothing if you relate to each other more than if we gonna take two shots together and that's it and we oh scream out together and we're gone that's it but him not gonna know about cartel and them something there and what is taking place in cartel trial you understand or if i bring up something we're going up on tiktok them not know them something there because remember to me like jamaica is so small and we are so intertwined with each other that we all feel like family when we go anywhere or we get anywhere there are just certain things that are unique to jamaica so for migrate to me mm -mm. i'm rather work the u.s and then go a foreign go spend it and then come back my yard come work it again and then go a foreign again go spend it but to migrate and leave here i don't think it's necessary for me if i was looking for like certain opportunities or i want to like expand my territory i feel like i would but at the point where i'm in my life now i feel like i'm a big fish in a small pond and i'd rather be that than a small fish in a big pond get me the next question says what advice would you give a person approaching their 20s not sure of a career path if i want to pull from my experiences it's try something because i remember when i was applying to go to college nursing wasn't my first choice i actually applied to be a physical therapist and then i went to applications and changed it and switched to nursing before that when i was younger i wanted to be a lawyer it's something that you're gonna have to just try you might not be in love with it afterwards but it's okay try it out first complete it you know if you started something and you know say you have problems finishing things i feel like you should start it complete it see how you feel and then decide but there's not there's no right or wrong path you get me this is life and it's not linear it's not one line we're gonna veer off one time to the left one next time we're gonna come we're gonna go straight we're gonna veer to the right one time we're gonna stop like just try something the point of life is to just keep moving just keep going nobody stop the only time you fail is if you stop you see if you take a little break and you say i'm gonna catch my breath and i'm gonna continue it's better than if you stop and you give up the only way if you give up or for fail is if you stop so try it out you're only 20 you have so many more years ahead you understand if you see something you like right now try it out it may be for right now you know must be for forever and i feel like a lot of us have to learn that lesson some things are not for forever they're just for right now say for right now you're happy with doing hairdressing and it'll make you some money and you do it for two years and after the two years now you say you know somebody kind of prefer for do mason work you're gonna do a little course down a art and you start the masonry now and you realize say, you love the masonry but you say i'm gonna take it a little further now i'm gonna go do some engineering and then you decide for saying yourself go school. like life isn't linear try things and don't be too married to any one thing the only thing constant is change so if you try something and you realize oh my god men are really like it you know make a plan and see how you can veer from what you're doing now and go into a new plan and just pick it up and keep going that's all you have to do 20s young my girl you have a whole heap of stuff to learn you know reach no way it's sister girl god no so many mistakes to make and the mistakes are only going to make you even more wiser and make your decisions even better god no what has been 
been the most rewarding experience you've had so far this year now i'm going to share this with you guys never really shared it before online but my sister and i have never really had a great relationship growing up we weren't the kindest and nicest to each other and i feel like for me personally i was an only child for about 11 years so 11 years i'm an only child i feel like i'm here my parents i have and like the world just revolves around me and one day i get up and i laid on my mom's belly and she said i'm pregnant you're gonna have a sister i'm gonna cry i don't know if i had only child syndrome so when she came and she did just look a bit provoking and i wanting the little girl could have vomit she could have vomit man like me i said man like i want me to tell want vomit and as she said me want vomit she vomit she did just vomit him man me don't know what i to her like she had go for merry go round me don't know we weren't the nicest to each other and me at that time i was figuring out a lot like growing up i was working from a long time me at work long time i made a tech but like a lot of things was happening we were moving from rollington town to bull bay is like i just had a lot of stuff going on i just never knew how to share my life with a sister like me used to a process things and i do things on my own so it's just that like, me never include her in a nothing and for years you know what bother me i'm used to see other people with them sister and i was just like we don't have that type of relationship until you know we had a hearty heart and we decided we were gonna work on it i feel like if something is bothering you or like you feel like something can be better try and change it you know because i feel like us having that conversation and deciding to actually try deciding to make a conscious effort to involve each other in each other's life it has made our relationship so much better i still feel like it can get even better than what it is now but the fact that we decided to work on it and to see the change and for just see how much we are alive it's, it's crazy to me bro so one of the most rewarding experiences that i've had this year was being able to go see her in washington because that's where she's now because my dad for telling her so she go hard so to be able to see her and spend time with her and like do stuff we never did growing up eating together going to the mall you know going on rides just spending time sleeping in the same bed shit's crazy bro but yeah that has been my most rewarding experience this year how do you deal with people's negative opinions about you in real life or on the internet someone explain something to know the negative people or the negative opinions that people have of me online are non-existent in real life in real life it's all shits and giggles everybody loves me in real life everybody wants to hug me in real life everybody wants to ask me about a perfume in real life everybody wants to ask me what they should buy for the birthday everybody wants to ask me what carnival costume they should wear in real life it's all shits and giggles the negativity that i experience or you guys see online doesn't exist in real life i don't know if on the internet they are stronger than they are in real life or on the internet them starstruck are on the internet not them just not as brave men know but it doesn't exist but on the internet the opinions of people are amplified because the person you like it and then a the person you share it and then there are 600 comments about it so it seems bigger than it actually is you understand and that's something that i have had to learn also there might be 10 positive comments but the one negative comment sends you over the edge you understand it has been like one of these learning things for me where i'm just like why are you even letting this one comment bother you like you don't believe it ask yourself that do you even believe what the person is saying no so why are you going to engulf yourself i'm not even about that sometimes i'll answer sometimes i answer because it's just funny to me i'm just like are you crazy or what like oh you're not know me in a real life you don't know anything what i put out there for you to see is calculated well we have our hundred layers if i show you one layer that doesn't mean you know me but it's the internet and i understand that people have time you understand and a lot of people are not being heard in real life nobody wants to listen to them nobody wants to hear what they have to say so coming on a post and commenting something negative for 600 people reply to it or like it is the most highlighted they will ever get in their life you understand but for me personally is it a mega black it or i just leave it there we just see i'm laugh sometimes you like it as my sarah will respond to it we like a little funny thing and we just say yeah all right like there are days when it doesn't move me so i'll either block it i'll comment to it or i'll just ignore it because again ignorance is bliss to me so if somebody sent me something and i already see from what them send me say it probably not gonna be somewhere where i going to be good for my mental health but everybody look me not even want to know where you say over there i know i do not care because i already did what i did fight me you just have to go see me and lick me on my face because you have a comment on the internet that it now go to come and now go pull my phone and spit spit up on my screen it's not gonna happen because remember say i me them know them not really know you you understand so when me go give you the platform now i bust me i bust you you're not bust me me not you be not benefit nothing from you you're not giving up prayers me not make a money off of it there is nothing to benefit from me riling up myself for you there are days like i said when my back are not the broadest and i might have been down from something else happening so to see a negative comment as i say me go in my dark room me go in my corner me go cry it out but i'm gonna always come back and then tomorrow i'm gonna laugh about it you're gonna see me upon 
live or you're gonna hear me and say something about some rest of the girls. I'm a fart big enough. Hey, hey. Ladies, I'm a fart big enough. She said I'm a fart big. I'm a nose lead. I'm a fibber one witch. My fibber never come in and walk a smoker. Then I eat that. I'm a done. I'm a guy with my business car. At the end of the day, me a God bless. And what if you stop me when God about me? What? Not your negative opinion online. Because I'm gonna pray to you. I'm gonna pray to God. And I already know what I'm supposed to be doing and where I'm supposed to be going. So I can't make you. I push me off of my little journey, right? Yes, a girl. It's too little coming in where you put right this. Like, uh, you yeah, text your man phone and him not answer you and you're bored. It not nah, done for me, this a girl. So the opinions of people are just that. They are the opinions of people. And you just have to take it with a grain of salt. You can't chuckle, you can't cry, you can't block if you want, but just keep going, as I said. It, it really not affect the price of rice. What are your top five self-care tips? Now I feel like I kind of answered this already, but for sure, one of my biggest forms of self-care is praying. Whatever pressure I'm having on my brain, when my skull feel like it's like a crush, when my pray, I'm gonna release it and let it go to God. I'm gonna say, God, are you this a year time now? Yeah, man, I made that. One of the greatest forms of self-care come ain't nobody feel like it under one mattress again and I press out. Nope. It releases the pressure and the strain because I saw a meme that says, worrying after you prayed is like worshiping the problem. And it's the truth. If you sit there with that problem on your Self, me I tell you, you're gonna look stressed out, you're gonna look muddled, you're gonna look ugly, you're gonna look hungry. Kind of for the time when me stressed, me can't eat. So if I pray and release the problem, I find that it's one of my greatest forms of self care because I feel a hundred percent better when I've let it go to God. You understand what me I say? I also try to eat healthy when I can and drink water and exercise. My mom always I tell them to say we are getting older and I feel like we owe it to ourselves to try to be in our best position or in our best health. So take your vitamins all of that encompasses in this one so this is number two so take your vitamins drink your water eat healthy work out that is all like things where you have to do for try to fix your inside because we don't really know what go on from the inside you know we know we get older and sometimes what's going on on the inside will show like through our skin based on like pimples that we have or reactions to certain foods so i feel like eating better if i even eat clean twice for the week no rice no dumpling no bread just try eat like some banana and some chicken you understand are some vegetable have some protein or something it helps you so much more in the long run remember say all the oily food them all the fatty food them clog up artery cause heart attack so the sooner you decide that okay i'm gonna go or i'm gonna try eating healthy or i'm gonna try making this change is the better for you choose days when you drink just only water not only again for like health reasons in terms of like your heart and whatever but your skin also your urinary tract remember we're females we don't want to have utis the smell from our cootie cat we want it to be fresh we want it to smell like water you understand so we have to try and ensure that we keep our system clean water has a lot to do with even digestion and how well we digest food you understand how many times we go to the bathroom so you have to take these things into consideration again me i tell them so we get older when i get younger when i really want when me a farty me i try bend down and i get up back i'm in a creek you understand me take my little calcium me take my fish oils me take my overall multivitamin me take my b12 for give me some more energy me drink my chloro a chlorophyll it near? That's something there. Yeah, ma'am. I drink a chlorophyll for also give me some more energy and just to overall wash on my inside. Every now and again, you know, I drink a like a detox tea for just kind of help my system flush out because sometimes I don't go to the bathroom as much as I should. But for me, self care is also taking care of my insides. So I try my best to do things or to stock up on my vitamins, to eat healthy, like I said, or to try working out at least four times a week. You understand? For try and make sure that on my inside is taken care of. Remember, you know, guys if i feel evil instead of I take the car go down the road when you go buy the, the grocery you understand you go walk if it's close like try taking the stairs instead of the elevator sometimes it all has to do with small steps towards your bigger goal for me another self-care tip that i practice is to get good sleep me a girl when i normally napping at the daytime because now my schedule is a little bit busier than what it used to be i try to go to sleep by at least 10 these days because i'm up by eight like sometimes you're groggy sometimes you just feel overall upset and it's just a little nap you want you just want a nice calm sleep you just want a good six hour a good little eight hour sleep sometimes if i get a little 30 minute nap in the middle of the day i feel so much better prioritizing sleep overall is something that i realize makes for an even healthier life because remember 
I say. Your skin need time for regenerate. Your brain need time for relax. Your, your body need time for just cool down. Like you have to sleep. I realize in this era, we are chase a lot of things. We are chase money. We are chase friends. We are chase man. We're not chase with ourselves. self. You understand? So you see, especially to sleep and for prioritize yourself. Lay down and take care of yourself and rest off. And say, all right, today, I'm not go outside. I need a little rest, man. Pure bag on my eye. I'm telling you, if you don't sleep, you're not going to look older before you look younger. As a matter of fact, you're not going to look young at all. I just so so old. You're not going to look. You're rest. Rest on yourself. Rest on your body. Rest on your front. Rest on your foot. You're not going to tired. You're stand up in a party for your six hours every weekend. No. Lay down a little bit sometime. Cock up your foot. Ice your foot up and watch the movie or so. Trust me, some of your skin would not suck. Some of your face would not droop. Sleep. It is one of the easiest and quickest ways to look refreshed and to look nourished. Take a nap. No find no upset. No find no groggy. No find no miserable online. Take a nap. I just want to hear some of my life. I tumble down right on my bed. I gonna lay down. When I wake up, I deal with it. After my release the pressure off of my brain, after my prayer, me will deal with it when I wake up. When I wake up, I refresh. I have a whole new outlook on life. My body feel better. You understand? I can think straight and I can think clear. Lay down, man. Lay down. Get in the two pillow them and lay down. Another self-care tip that I practice is gratitude. No, just I talk to him about it. But just I talk to him about how I feel about the space I'm in right now. But in real life, me get up every day feeling happy for see the sun, feeling happy for can experience certain things, feeling happy for have the friends I'm have, feeling happy for can do what I want to do in life. You understand? Because there was a time where I was bound to certain things and bound to certain people. Now, me can feel grateful for where I am. Looking back at where I'm coming from, that's one of the easiest way for feel grateful. Look back at where you're coming from. Look back at some old pictures. Look back at some old memories where you have and say, damn, you know what I said? A long time, I didn't want for day, so I wish for me there. I'm going to say, thank God. I'm going to get up on me and say, thank God. You know how long I want to slip as you have it on my foot now? Thank God. You know how much time I want to have a big bottle of water, be a little bottle of water, I could have buy and have a big bottle now? Thank God. It's not only gratitude in the big things, but the small things too add up. Little things add up. Just wake up grateful. Every time I look at something at my feel, especially I see a lot of people saying, oh, going out and coming back in is such a blessing. It is. When you go outside and you come back in, you also say, thank God. Well, people make it go out and never make it back in. You have to just practice gratitude. It allows you to feel so much better about the little things happening in your life instead of waiting on one big thing to happen and you're miserable because it's not happening. You cannot be grateful for the small steps that you make towards your big goal. And by the time you know it, the big goal is achieved and you yeah, say shit, but you would have enjoyed the journey. You understand? It's not about the final destination. It is about the journey. It, has, it is about the small, the small little, you know, the little areas in between where you're just like, damn, I couldn't do that yesterday and I can't do this today. Life nicey? Trust me, I will up a time I get up and I say, life nicey? Life nice. Sometimes I just go to the beach with my friend them. I'm just sitting and I say, no, man, I really love this. I love my friend. As you guys know, I love my friend them. I love my life. I love everything. And I know nothing to me now. And I know nothing to me more than I go in and want to go see water this and come back, come sit down. But I'm just grateful. Because there are times when I would have wanted to do those things and I could not. So practice gratitude. Another self-care tip that I practice is setting goals and priorities or making certain things a priority. Because I realize that I cannot say yes to everything. I cannot do everything. So I have to list things out and then prioritize them. So if I decide to, okay, for my sake, I need to go to the gym today. I don't feel well. I need to go to the gym. But somebody that invite me out, the inviting out is either I'm going to say no or I have to put it below the gym because I have to pour from a full cup. If me not feel my best, I'm not going to go out with you. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to run my waist or I'm going to ease back in the chair. I'm going to salt. I'm going to wear a big t-shirt because I never go to the gym. I'm going to feel comfortable. So you have to set goals and you have to also prioritize them. I realize that making to-do lists in my notes has helped me so much to complete the goals that I do have because a lot of times we have a lot of things in our brain. So we have things that we need for doing, you know, but it's like we don't remember some of them and some of them are so small that I feel like writing them down ensures that we will always remember them and we will always ensure that they get done. So you know, so when the day I go start, when it's a new week, I'm going to look at to-do list, I'm going to my notes, I'm going to say, all right then, always stay for that week, yeah. See one of them here? So I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to finish that video here, I'm going to change the light, I'm going to the fan. I'm going to answer my emails, I'm going to unbox my bed sheets. I set the goal and then I prioritize them. So I will then go ahead and put them in order of what I need to do first. But setting goals also just ensures that you feel good within yourself. Because anytime you set a goal, if it's even for just spread your bed, when you complete the goal, you feel so much better about yourself. Like I feel like you can't move forward. You're like, oh, okay, I got this done. What else can I do? And you move on to something else in the list. It's like a form of self-gratification. 
position so you're like oh okay so i made the bed all right then what else can i do on the list all right wash the dishes let me go do that these are normal things yes but when you put them on the list of things that you need to do and complete it feels so much better when you get them done you set your goals whether it's one day one week one month one year and you check it and ensure that you get it done so again it adds to your self-care because you completed it overall you start feel positive because when you look you see they have 10 things and when you look at marker five of them and you're like shit my actually get things done i feel like a lot of us are in a bad space sometimes because we now get to see what we've done and where we are now so you see when you write on the list now you check it off and you can go back and every day you do something like that and then the days turn weeks and the weeks turn months when you go back and look on the list then you're like oh but I'm actually i make progress i'm doing things i said i wanted to save a hundred dollar last week i save it last week this week come again i save it five weeks time you look now you have five hundred dollars and you're like oh my god i did do it i actually completed it i completed these steps it adds so much to your self-care because it makes you feel positive about yourself it makes you feel like you are moving you're accomplishing your goals and you're climbing up the ladder so set your goals whatever they are big or small check them off prioritize them and get them done as long as they are get them done remember i tell you say once you move you have to read somewhere but the only time you're not gonna read somewhere if you stop next question is traveling tips how to budget for vacation so me personally when i know that i want to go on vacation or i have the idea to go on vacation i cut off doing certain things that i would consider like entertainment or like extra stuff like miscellaneous stuff so if i was gonna go to the movies me not bother with that if me not gonna do my nails i kind of hold off so whatever money i was gonna spend between the time like me not gonna go to vacation i don't do the nails till a time for go up on the vacation because the money there i got waste i could have saved the money and then do the nail one time and then extra money when me daddy off me can buy a meal upon vacation i try to get into things beforehand so i try to find ways to flip my money before the vacation says so either make a throw a partner is it i'm gonna look a trade is it i'm gonna post some more videos do some more hair reviews something i try to press gas in a little sense on making money so i have a little extra money also i think about when i'm on the vacation managa can eat out three times for the day on the vacation i cannot afford it so of course mega bring some ramen mega bring some noodles mega bring some sausage mega bring some corned beef because one of the day them i for staying at the villa or me for staying at the airbnb i'm gonna eat breakfast and lunch in at the villa in the night now i can have dinner but you have to be smart about certain things again on the vacation you might not be able to do all the activities that everybody else is doing so here so now you have to prioritize all right then cool i'm gonna snorkel in the grill already i'm not for snorkel like in mexico right i can leave snorkeling and do the skydiving because skydiving i've never done so instead of doing something i've done already let me save that leave that one alone must snorkel already it's fine at the same fish time in the sea same sea let's skydive because skydiving is something that's probably unique to mexico so let me get that experience you have to think about little things like okay should i stay in a hotel or an airbnb which one is cheaper because remember you are budgeting you have to do your research before you have to say okay then cool should i rent a car or should i do uber because again which one is cheaper and then one that i find works for myself also is you do not need to buy a new outfit for each of the occasions you have things in your closet where you can repurpose you can repeat you can switch it up with a different top make a different bottom put on a different shoes dust off where you put on you understand you do not have to buy a new outfit for each place or for each excursion sometimes you have to use where you have remember your budget you're trying to ensure that you can make the best out of this vacation and ensure say you can't go to the place where you want to go you can't eat at the museum because if you cut back on certain things you know you will be able to afford it i feel like a lot of people think vacation is very expensive and it's not but because we have this mindset of oh me forget everything new and then i'm gonna ride on a limousine i'm gonna take a private jet like no you have to look at it make a plan get the costs and decide what you can afford what works for you and then do that if a lot of us thought about vacation more and just thought about budgeting and we knew how to properly manage our money we would be going on vacation so much more than we do right now you understand the next question is what advice will you give to a young teenager who is just starting life well to piggyback on the one who asked about in your 20s and career path again you haven't even gotten to your peak as yet you're literally just a start like this is the crawling phase like, actually it's still up on the belly you never start crawl as yet so you have a lot of mistakes to make in life and the mistakes will turn into lessons you have a lot of failures to go through there's a lot of happiness to get from life yes but we have to also remember say the good is gonna come with the bad so when the bad comes we can't bother it don't say oh my god me have an awful life and god ate me and nobody love me no that's how life is it has its ups and it has its down the pendulum has to swing so you just have to always 
because remember say you have to take it good with the bad you have to also find ways to motivate yourself because the motivation you are looking for to achieve your goals may not always come from outside people your family might not support her your friend they might not support her so you have to think within yourself i support me i believe in me and i want to achieve these goals for myself because i see myself as this person you have to learn to motivate yourself you understand you have to be grateful for the things that you have you have to be grateful for where you are and where you are going to get to you have to give god thanks every single day you wake up you understand things might not be perfect in the start but i promise you if you are grateful for the small things if you are grateful for where you are beginning god i go show you how good it can actually get it might go bring you to some pinnacles and you're gonna be like oh my god i did not know but him understand say you were grateful for the small things you had you were grateful for the small things he gave you so him say all right the girl that deserves some big things you understand what me i say remember say i know everybody i go there with you forever some people are here for right now some things are happening in your life for right now all people and all experiences may not be for forever so you have to recognize when something or someone has done its time in your life and you have to gracefully let it go of course you're gonna feel some type of way because oh my god you were in love with this person or you were in love with this place or you were in love with this thing but it has done its time and for you to move on to your next level you have to let it go and the quicker and easier you let it go is the better it will be for you trust me when me tell you that me learn that also on every money a good money me telling this all the while work for your own money system be very independent not like when you have your own things so when anybody at all not even just about moving foot you not tremble because what you mean you stand up on your own two foot do not be afraid of hard work if you have for us us a sister once it now bring no shame to you or your, your family and god now go turn a blind eye to you us a girl get your money up and do what you have to do nobody now look on you when you're down but you see when you come up you see when you come up at the top sister everybody go turn to you and say oh you do it remember me did tell you here yeah? get your own money and be independent it works those are all i'm going to give you for today because of course we're going to have to be doing another video you understand i know you guys are going to ask me this question again what advice remember the older i get is the more i learn and the more i learn is the more i share with you guys but i feel like i can't work with them advice if you know sister you don't think so get your pen and your paper and write it down back it up and play it over and write it girl let's go the final question for our q and a for today is when you feel like you're about to lose control how do you recenter oh it's funny that i'm doing it right now i do this but it, i put it over my heart and i say god please please help me Please close my eye. I'm going to look up prayer. As I tell you guys all the time, my dark room is my favorite place. Sometimes I will even text my friends and I will say, guys, today is not a good day for me. And when I do that, they know that, okay, it's time for them to become a village. And they'll send me reassuring messages and words of encouragement, how great I am, how great I'm doing, how far I've come. And that kind of brings me back to my center. It kind of reminds me, you know, that I'm loved and that this small thing is not the big thing like it's just one little dot like one little negative something or one little bad something to your armor right now and because one bad thing is happening to me right now doesn't mean i'm having a bad life and then i kind of will snap out of it and remember that okay i am who i am i am this girl who has been through the fire and has come out of the ashes unscathed you understand catch about myself there so but you have to have a little community and like i said you have to have a relationship with god you have to find things that mean something to you so if you are somebody who likes the beach and the beach gives you peace of course you're gonna have to now find like okay if you can recenter now you can find a beach you take a quick drive down to the beach and you kind of dip your toes in the sand if you are somebody who likes the outdoors you're gonna take a little walk make the breeze blow upon you make the sunshine upon your face hear the birds and get yourself back to where you need to speak to yourself also go in front of the mirror and say listen this is not me i am better than this i can be better than this things will get better than this it works guys try it and let me know but like i said it was just gonna be a cute cute short and spicy q a i thank you guys so much for watching and to everybody who sent in a question for us to answer holy panu sending an ask about kids and about man and relation i did not come to no as a married woman i never come to no as a girl with like relationship advice when you rest me now rest my relationship status on my home do when the time come y'all will be the first to know i promise i will not hide it i will come and speak it from the mountain top because i will not be ashamed big up yourself same way thank you guys so much for watching remember to leave a comment in the comment section below like the video share it to your stories on instagram so i can repost it subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time bye